Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuning into the Talking Shed. Hey, today Kurt and I were down here in Lockbourne, Ohio. That's just south of Columbus. Uh, today is mid September. Guys are uh, getting ready for harvest, but also it's a great time to be thinking about your corn planter and what you can do a little bit differently. Today, we didn't mount any tanks, we didn't mount any colders, but we fixed an issue that we see all too often, and that's this distributor manifold. Um, we see these a lot, they're on a lot of planters, and they can cause some issues. Um, the issue we had here was, uh, number one, the lines weren't even uh, after this distributor manifold. If all your distribution is being done in the center, and there's no orifice at the end, then you will have uneven flows of fertilizer because your orifice is up here and the lines are not the same afterwards. So what Kurt and I put on today was we put a red ball manifold. So instead of that manifold, we use the red balls as our distributor. And then we put a check valve, which would be our regulating piece to regulate flow all the way down here next to the row. So our only chance of getting incorrect hose length is right here this last 12 inches to the colder so you're going to have extremely accurate flow from front to back or side to side i should say of the planter um, so we got rid of the manifold we see this thing a lot it can create issues with plugging and of course the big one is inconsistency so if you've got a manifold on your planter i urge you to look at the red ball systems it does a lot of good things of course they monitor blockage if you do have a block but they basically replace the manifold and allow you to put a check valve with an orifice down here and have much better control of your fertilizer placement across the whole planter. So that's what we're doing today. Now's a great time to think about that because you have plenty of time before spring shows up. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.